Hello everybody, this is Red Gamer 75. Welcome back to Let's Play the Let's Go with Skull Sword. Anyway... Let me cut that web. Yeah, get through there. We are now in the first dungeon. that behind but now it works. How do I get up there? Maybe shoot that. Second time. Here we go. Ah, I'm stuck. Oh, these are hard. Oh, took another bean on my shield. Your hearts have decreased quite dramatically. Replenish some of your life at the earliest opportunity. Yes, V, I know that you don't need to tell me every time. Man. 
I detect targetable objects in your immediate vicinity. Press down while targeting a personal object with Z. I'll provide your information on that subject. Sorry, I meant Z. Because in my country we say Z, not Z. No thanks, I don't need movies, I need hearts. Hearts, please. Please, I need hearts. Yes, hearts. Thank you. Okay, let's go again. How do I even kill this thing? Too hard. Finally I killed it. It's too hard. Hmm, shot that. Raise the water level. Now, let me read this sign. Two doors lead to rooms left and right, but they will only open when the gemstones are struck. One is above, one is below. Where well, we struck the above one. Now let's go look for the below one. If it gets hit two more times, it will shatter. It will be destroyed. Is this the other one? So yeah, I think because since it was up here, I think should have gone into the right room first. Now we can go into this room. These are attached to spiderwebs, you need to get around there from behind. Missed. Yes, got it. Damn! Damn! Oh, it's a golden one. These are hard. Shield got hit again. The energy of your shield has weakened. Beware of the remaining dual ability in this item. Yes. I can't let this shield get hit one more time. Otherwise I'm gonna lose it. But I might have to break this shield in order to get a new one. Mind shield, that's a new rule for this let's play. Chest! 
That's useful. This dungeon's not that big. At least we can find some treasure chests in that. Oh, I still have information for you. You have obtained a map of this area. You can view it by pressing plus. Position of doors and their locks, as well as the position and status of treasure chests, can be confirmed on the map with marks such as X. However, be aware that you'll be unable to use beacons here due to the indoor nature of this environment. Well, I'm in the episode here. Come back tomorrow for another episode. We're gaming soon, folks. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.